Hello, everybody. My name is Matthew White here at the Business Transformation Center from Ingram Micro. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about Breakout Session and the new capabilities that you can find in there. So let me go ahead and show you how to use Breakout Session. So when you're in your window here, you're going to want to click on Breakout Sessions up at the top and then enable Breakout Sessions. Once that's enabled, uh, you can pick how many you want to allow. So how many Breakout Sessions you actually want to have. And I could have a ton of different breakout sessions here, but let's just go ahead and say we want five sessions. From there, uh, if you actually had a number of people in your actual meeting, currently I'm the only one in this meeting just recording it, but if you had say 10 people in your meeting and you had five sessions, it would automatically say two participants per session if I had this on automatically assign. Uh, when I would create assignments, it would automatically drop those people into the different sessions, just randomly split them up. Or I can also do manual assign, which allows you to manually pick who goes where. And these two settings have been around now for a little bit. But if you actually go ahead and what's new is let's partic or let participants choose any session, this is going to allow them to actually choose what session they want. So if you create a multiple uh, sessions that you want people to be able to jump between or join, you can let people choose their own sessions. So if we could create assignments, then I can actually go ahead and pick somebody and move them to a session. So let's say I wanted to move them to myself to session one, or let's see, I could move that and I could also do it from here and I could say assign and assign me to session two. And I can also click move to and I can move this person to another session if I wanted to. I can also rename the session itself. So once you have your people in the right sessions that you want, you can go ahead and start breakout sessions, or you can look under settings here. And this allows you to give people a little bit more flexibility about where they are at when they're actually looking to do this. So, so from here, you can actually see that you can allow attendees to join sessions later. So that means that they can stay in the main session and then join a breakout group or breakout session. And you also have the ability to allow attendees to return to the main meeting so that way they can jump back into the main meeting to see what's going on. So if you have like a main meeting that's happening, the breakout sessions that are happening on the side, but you want to keep your main meeting going, you can have those checked and enabled. You also have the ability to automatically end breakout sessions after a certain amount of time. And then you also have the ability to let people know when there's going to be a countdown timer before the breakout session ends. And then you can click the start breakout sessions. And that will then drop that person into there. I can see that there's a breakout session duration and how long it's gonna take until it ends. And then I can cancel that automatic closure of the breakout session. So if I wanted to keep from here, I can also broadcast a message. So if I wanted to tell everybody in all the sessions or only certain sessions, so let's say I just wanna let group one know and I wanna tell them uh, we will B up breakout session or group three. And then I can click send and that will let everybody know in that other breakout session that there will be a new great breakout session for group three that will be starting. Um, so if you want to just broadcast a message to them, you can do that from here as well. And you can let anyone join all sessions, or you can have it be that only assigned participants can join certain sessions as well. So currently I have it let everyone join this session, which is what I did when I first started creating breakout sessions. And I can switch that though, if I decided middle of the road that I really want to have people only be in the sessions that they are in or assigned to, I can switch that here. And I can see that this one's selected and this is the one that's bolded. So that just means that I can, I can, can now select this one. And then we can also end all breakout sessions from here as well. So as you can see, breakout sessions are really easy to use. They don't really take a lot of uh, learning to get those under your belt. And really just keep in mind that only one host can be in the breakout sessions uh, settings and actually assigning people to the different breakout sessions. So if you have a lot of different co-hosts that are helping you out with different processes, what you'd want to do is assign one of those co-hosts to the breakout session management. Again, my name is Matthew White, right here from Ingram Micro's Business Transformation Center, and look for me on another one of these tips and tricks for the WebEx user.